It seemed like he really didn't want to deal with me. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't bother me one, one bit. You know. Besides, I like to spend time in the electronic department. That's where I used to like to go and do all my sewing in electronics. So he's walking around. And as he's walking around, he ends up back in the screw department. In the screw department, um, not paying attention to where everybody is, he picks up two more screws, seven cents a piece. You know where I'm going here, right? And he walk into the register. Well, everybody else is gone. I'm in the electronic department. Well, the electronic department is right next to the register. This way, whoever is at the register can keep an eye on electronics. So I walk over and, uh, you know, he's kind of looking at me. Oh, I see you need a few more screws, huh? Ran short. Yeah. Yeah. I said, did you run short or did you drop them in the water? Yeah. He didn't answer me. Um, you know, directly, but basically, he dropped them in the water. And why he didn't want to have me wait on them is because I told him so. <laughs> and I told him he should buy a few extra. They're seven cents a piece. So he buys the two other screws, 14 cents, plus tax, <laughs> and uh, away he goes. So one of the workers come in and said, uh, he says, uh, when we seen him, we all ran. Because apparently nobody likes to deal with this guy. Uh, and not because He's just, I don't want to say he's an asshole. Everybody's an asshole to somebody, okay? I mean, and I'm an asshole to a lot of people too, I'm sure of it. And if they call me an asshole, you know what? I really don't care. Because everybody has a right to their opinion. That's what this country's built on. So, he leaves. And it's over with. Well, about a month and a half later, he comes back and he needs more screws. Not the same kind. He's working on another project and he needs more screws. These screws were 11 cents a piece. So after he comes in and he buys 12 screws. I don't say a word. I'm done trying to educate this guy. And he leaves. The next day, he comes back, the first thing in the morning, with three of the screws he just bought. Because he didn't need them. So he's returning them. So, you just took close to an hour out of your day, not counting the gas, you know, because you're talking at least 10 minutes to get to where the store is, if he was at the marina. 10 minutes to get back, he was in the store for about a half an hour. So at this point, he's eating up close to an hour, we're going to say, to go through all this for 33 cents. Now, first of all, you don't know how many times I just, I just give screws away. I'll give you a dozen screws at 6 cents or 11 cents a piece. But not this guy. And I'm not the only one to treat him like that. He's just one of these guys, you know? So, I mean, I'm sure all you guys have or know one of those guys. 
Clearly, he comes back for 11 cents each, 33 cents. And he turns the screws. I says, this guy is a real asshole. He really is. You know, I mean, why didn't he just keep the screws? He bought them. He did all that for 11 cents. Or, wait until you come back. If you're going to bring them back, wait until your next trip to the store. You own a boat for crying out loud. You know you're going to be at the store. No. Nope. Now, it's not like he needed the 33 cents. By the way, he drives around in a little two-seat Mercedes coupe convertible. So, uh, and he lives in the Thimble Islands. He lives on Money Island, which is in Thimble Islands. You can look that up. And, uh, Google Money Island in the Thimbles in Connecticut. I used to have a mooring over there. Had it there for years. Alright, so anyway, uh, when you think about it, with these sailboaters that start talking about uh, how cheap it is because they don't have to pay for the gas, one day one of them come in another sailboater comes in and he's looking to buy a couple of pulleys for his sail and uh, they were $112 a piece yeah <laughs> right. and he needed two of them he goes $112 a piece I go yeah he says it's just not cheap he goes, uh, is there any other sales on these things? I said, well, there's a lot of sales on them if you go in the water. You know, it was kind of a pun, you know. And he said, yeah, 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 okay. So, uh, yeah. we're going back and forth. I said, no, I said, as a rule, you don't see any sales. I said, sometimes they'll run a 10% weekend or something like that. I says, but... We really don't know when. We get a flyer in a day or two before, you know, a, a, a newsletter in saying it's going to happen. So, but uh, other than that, we really don't know, you know, when it's going to be or when it's not going to be or whatever. I says, uh, however, they do have a promotion. And it's not that I'm trying to sell them anything. I'm just... Giving him what's offered. If he was to open up a West Marine credit card account, he can save himself 20, 25% at that time. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Any, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So I says to him, listen. I says, and again, I know these people, so I know what they can do and what they can't do. You know what I mean? So I said, listen, you open up the account, you save yourself 20%. That's going to be almost 50 bucks here, a little bit more than 50 bucks. Right? At the end of the month, you pay it off, you tear up your account. You know, there's no, actually, don't even tear it up. Keep it. There's no monthly payments. There's no yearly charge for it. So if you never use it again, you'll never pay anything again. No, 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 no. Well, believe it or not, he waited until the end of the season when we started having our sales to get rid of a lot of crap to save 10% on those two pulleys. And he couldn't go out or use his boat without them. So he did nothing that year because he didn't want to open up that credit account, all right, which I know he could have all right, uh, at that point. So that's it. So the thing is, yes, you don't pay for gas, but you can't plan a day trip, for instance. 
like the wife and I, and not just the wife and I, but a lot of us, a lot of people with the power boats, we didn't all go to the same place, but the wife and I used to, now we're in a little shoreline community just east of West of uh, New Haven. Uh, you guys know where I live, I live in Bradford. Uh, but the wife and I would say, you know, let's go down to uh, little, Italy, little Italy in New York and get something to eat. So we take the boat, we run down to New York, we go up to Hudson, we stay at the Chelsea Pier. Uh, we may stay for the night, we may just stay for the day. We have a cab take us into Little Italy. We have lunch. Cab takes us back. We walk around the pier a little bit, you know, check out some of the things that's going on there, you know, and then uh, get back on the boat and decide from there. Do we want to stay for the night or do we want to go home? You know? I mean, we have that option because we can get there and back within a reasonable amount of time. It took us about three hours to get there and three hours to get back. Because I would never run it, I would just cruise. So uh, besides, it was 52 feet. So you don't want to just run it. So that's the overall length, by the way. Um, so at that point, uh, you can't do that with a sailboat. You know, we used to say to the kids, you want to come down, we're going to go over to Port Jeff for lunch. Port Jeff is about an hour. Yeah, and you know, it's a nice, you're out in the water, it's cool, nice breeze. You know, the waves splashing up on you every now and then, cool you off. You know, it's a nice ride. You know, fall asleep if you want. Get to Port Jeff. You can either pay the dock up, at the dock or